new for the Sega Master System. It's Paperboy. It's actually not new at all. This game came out in 1984 for the arcades. The arcade version was actually not terrible. Most of the home conversions, however, were. This one came out in 1990, plays on both Master System versions and the Genesis with the power base converter, just like every other Master System game that you can buy. No reason for either of those two little yellow thingies to be on the front. Neither of them tells you anything that you didn't already know, or that isn't untrue. Uh, the, the box art for this game is actually much more interesting than the average Sega Master System game. It's still got that graph paper thing going on, but it's got more actual artwork on it. It's, it's The screenshots are tilted to the side, because it's crazy. It's, a, it's an edgy game about delivering newspapers. I'm actually not a fan of Paperboy at all. I did this one first so that I could get it out of the way. Um... Some of you might hate me for it, but there you go. This uh, Sega Master System version of Paperboy is probably the worst I've ever played. I'll open it up. I do not have the instructions for this one, unfortunately, but again, I don't like this game at all, so I don't care that much. There's the cartridge. Looks like pretty much every Master System cartridge. Yeah, there we go. On the back, it's got the normal, only use it with the Sega system. Don't try to put this in your Nintendo. All right, so here's the title screen. And you can already hear the music will get annoying very quickly. And it never stops. It never stops. The music keeps going forever on an infinite loop. From the title screen right into the game, just keeps right on going. Of course I chose easy mode because the game's hard and I don't like it very much. I'm just going to motor through everything here because the, the, the movement area that you've got in this version of the game is so small. You have so little room to move around in the Master System version of Paperboy. It's, it's damn near unplayable as far as I'm concerned. It's difficult to dodge things on the first day in easy mode. I'm actually scoring quite a few direct hits on these mailboxes. Almost never happens. But in case you weren't aware, you have to get the paper at the door. Or like, you know, it has to hit the door, land on the doorstep, or in the mailbox for it to count. If you do not deliver the paper properly the way the game wants you to, you lose that subscriber at the end of the day. I have never had more than five subscribers left at the end of the first day, ever. I've also never made it through this training course. I'm supposed to hit the targets there with the papers, not fall into the water. I don't know why that ramp was there at all. And... Oh, no. I thought I was going to die there. This is where I die. You have to hit that ramp. Now watch. Look at those. All of those people unsubscribed to me because I didn't deliver their paper the way they wanted it. it. It got to their house. I threw a paper in, I think, everybody's yard that was supposed to get one. Lazy motherfuckers just didn't want to walk out into their yard and get it. But I digress. Really, the Master System version of this game, it's graphically not bad. I mean, the Master System usually put out some pretty decent graphics. It's nowhere near as nice looking as the arcade version, but home system games rarely were back then. I like the Amiga version the best as far as home ports go for this game. But I still don't like it that much because this game is terrible. Why why would you make a game about delivering newspapers and getting chased by dogs that just stop when you throw a newspaper at them? They just stop. Anything that you throw a newspaper at in this game, if you throw it through a window, it breaks the window. Whatever. If you throw it at a dog, the dog stops moving. If you throw it at a race car, the car stops moving. I'm talking about the little remote-controlled race cars that you'll see. The, the actual cars, they will not stop if you throw a paper at them. They will run you over like they did to me a minute ago. And you will die. A horrible, painful death. This is just ridiculous here. This is hard mode. And this is the first day of hard mode. And I'm not doing so hot. I lost track of how many times I've died so far. I haven't been paying attention, just going off on a tangent. I do that sometimes. But 
I keep dying. On day one, I, I don't think I died at all on day one in easy mode, which is unusual. I usually die a lot in this game. Um, and I believe at the end of this first run, or the first day, rather, on this run, I had four subscribers left. I did not make it through day two, spoiler alert, but if I did, I don't think I would have had more than one if I, if I got that many, I don't remember. I, I played this game for quite a while getting footage for the review, and admittedly it's not the best footage that I could have gotten, but I didn't want to play the game anymore. I just, I just don't like it. That's my honest opinion. I'm doing a review, give you my honest opinion. Yeah, four subscribers left. My honest opinion is this game's not very good. Um, I could probably tolerate the arcade, arcade version. There was a, a lot more room to move around in. You actually had handlebars to steer with. It was innovative. The control pad for the Master System wasn't the best input device ever for a video game. I love the Master System, but I will admit that the controllers were definitely flawed. Um, it makes it even harder to control. And that motherfucker with the jackhammer. <sighs> but yeah, I mean, you can you can see what the game's like. If you don't know what Paperboy is, where have you been? Everybody knows Paperboy. It's come out for every system ever. And as you can see, I'm typing in what I really think about this game. Poop. It's poop. So, well, that, that's all for my review for this game. Hopefully I'll be able to do a good one next. I'm going to select it at random. 